So this is basically just what uh, old footage of when the first alien came out or whatever. Because everybody's like, oh, the movie's scary or whatever. But anyways, so what I'm thinking... So what I'm thinking is like the two protagonists, they sh they show that girl, right? So she seems like she might be the protagonist or whatever. And they show that she's friends with the black dude and he happens to be an android, right? A cyborg or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's something that they show in this extra footage though, right there. And I know people can't hear the audio, but basically they asked her if she had seen the sunset of some kind of world. And she's like, yeah, I've actually seen it. And when she says that, the black android dude looks at her kind of weird. Like he looks at her like, hey, don't say that. And I'm wondering why. Why is he why is he telling her not to say it? And then then she kind of like lies about it. She's like, oh, only in my dreams I seen that. So I'm thinking, what if she's not even a human? What if she is an android? And maybe what if they're both playing some kind of con maybe they're just like they aren't real children of colonists like the rest of the people in this uh movie supposed to be right and they could just be both maybe that's the twist because you know there's always kind of a twist in these movies so maybe that might be a twist with the android you think that they might be synthetic she might be yeah the black dude for sure like we already know that but her really how they said it they even admitted like the makers of the movie already said plus you see him standing up straight like when he leads those uh i think in that one scene where he's like run yeah this guy. And, yeah and then the way he stands up like he he walks like an android and shit. like right there mm. like the why did the face huggers not attack him they walked they went right past him so i always suspected he was an android and they already confirmed it but my but i think that girl is also the one mm. oh, okay hold on let me rewind that All right now that might look like a meteor or something right uh, i can't tell because it's like super dark okay well basically it's a shot of the and the reason this this footage looks so shitty is because it's supposed to be in vhs quality but basically you see that rock looking thing go into the ship bay that's what they're saying that that is the actual alien from the original movie he cocooned himself somehow in space i, I was wondering like why fire okay yeah and so i'm assuming that's how the alien outbreak happens in this movie is because they find that original alien floating in that cocoon that he made somehow or at least secreted a cocoon i guess i don't know something this part of the trail is more like a them talking about it or whatever and so yeah so my other question is, I guess, I'm not, this hasn't been confirmed, I don't think, but is Wayland Yutani even the company in this? Because I haven't seen any of the logos. Well, what time is this supposed to be? Well, it's, it's in between ahead. Alien and Alien, so, I mean, Wayland Yutani would exist at this point. It wouldn't? It would exist, yeah. It already existed in between Alien and Alien, so... But what I'm thinking is like, I'm wondering if there's going to be another company involved as well. Because mm -hmm. they said Romulus isn't the name of the ship. I think it's the name of the labs within the ship or something. The actual ship is called something else. I forgot the name of it. And that's the director of it. He made a Evil Dead remake in 2013, which is pretty good. I think he did A Quiet Place or something as well. Or maybe she is human. I don't know. <laughs> I, I that think shot that she right might there human. is confirmation of two that he's uh that he's a synthetic. Because I'll bring it up. I don't know. I had to pause it right when it shows it. Right after this, I think. You went too far. Okay. Damn, that was hard to pause on that. <laughs> like it's not letting me. Okay, so when he looks up and his eyes are all fucking like white or whatever. Right. That's the same thing that Dave remember when David turned off his clone or whatever? I mean his robot. Yeah, eyes went up, yeah. It? Yeah, that's the same thing. So that's he's definitely a robot. Maybe but I wonder if he's a whaling. Was high quality. Or is he 
I mean, the colonizers are probably Wayland because one of the shots in there does look like the Wayland. Um, what do you call it? The thing that that makes the planet air breathable or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I forgot the word for it. But in Alien Ends, the sequel that James Cameron made, they actually had this huge pyramid-looking thing that was it. It made the atmosphere breathable and so um, terraform. It was a terraforming. Oh, the terraforming. Yeah. So in this, you actually see a shot of it too. So it's probably most likely a Wayland Utani uh, colony or whatever. But the ship that they go to, I don't know if that's Wayland Utani though. That's the one thing I'm curious about. Because mm. like in the Alien Isolation game, that was kind of the thing too. Like the spaceship at first, when you first go to it, it's not Wayland Utani; it's somebody else. But later, you find out that Wayland Utani bought it out. Hmm. But if this guy is a robot. So why is he sweating? Because they make him real. Well, you haven't seen the first alien, but in that one, the android in it was a, he was disguised as a science, a science officer. And everybody on the crew thought he was human because he was like, they even show shots of him eating, even sleeping. So he, he, he posed as a human, but until the very like almost the end of the movie that's when you find out he's a he's an android oh yeah because they start like he starts glitching out and shit and going crazy so that was like a major reveal in the first alien movie and and also in this in this particular trailer they showed that some of the humans are kind of fucking with him and shit you know what i mean like kind of like how they did with uh david and shit talking shit to him Uh. and prometheus and uh, alien covenant The one thing that they seem to be as spoiled is like the like we kind of already know that people are gonna die. All of them are gonna die anyway, so yeah, true that. But this is a planet that has uh rings. Yeah, I think the first one quite like bigger, right? Hmm? And it's quite bigger. Yeah, well, in the the first alien movie, um, the planet they found was next to a big size planet like this. It was actually like a moon, more like. It. And they were and the planet they're by is like a gas giant, kind of like mm. this one. But I don't know if this is a gas giant. Though. I don't think it is. So I think this is actually like a regular planet. It gets populated. I see lava flows or something. I thought it was light. Yeah. I'm not but sure. then again, this is bad quality. Yeah. Unintentional bad quality. You have to pick the worst one, right? Well, that's the one that they, that's the one with the newest footage, though. Oh, is that right? Yeah, because the other ones don't show all Because this was footage from Comic Con. Mm. And it was intentionally made in VHS quality, like to resemble, I guess, the original ones. To throw it back. Yeah, throw it back kind of thing. But uh, I think what was that? That was cool. the arm? Yeah, well, it was like, a, yeah, the ship, like they're making the ship revolve because I guess they're trying to latch it onto the other ship or whatever. Mm. So I don't know. Looks interesting.